from the Chaplin School of Hospitality and Tourism Management at FIU, it's time to cook up a bite with Belky. Hey everybody, welcome to the show. I'm Belkis Naray and we are on our beautiful South Florida beach because have we got a special show for you today. Why is it special? I'm gonna tell you why, because it's the most wonderful time of the year. That's why it's not the holiday season. It's time for the South Beach Wine and Food Festival. February 20th through 24th, more than 100 events from Miami Dade to Broward County. They've got it all, celebrity chefs, local chefs, lunch, brunch, dinners, parties, food, wine. If you are a foodie, this is your time of year. It's a culinary extravaganza, but hey, let's stop talking and let's start cooking. We're coming at you from FIU's Chaplin School of Hospitality and Tourism Management. And we have brought in some festival chefs to help us out with today's show. Cause you know what I say, if I can do it, you can do it, right? But today I'm not doing anything. So let's get things started with our friend from the Dutch, Chef Josh Gripper is here. How's it who going? Who is participating in this year's chicken coop. Yes. Right, Chef? Yes. Awesome, thanks for being here. Thank you. Chicken coop, fried chicken and champagne. It takes place at the W Hotel. What could be better? Nothing. You had me at fried chicken and champagne, really. But today we're making a roasted chicken. Yes. Cause I think, and I've heard, that if people can master roasting a chicken well, they can do anything in the kitchen. Yeah, you'll impress all your friends too. All right, well, we're here to impress our friends, if nothing else. <laughs> so show us the trick, chef, let's go. All right. And add a little oil. That part's easy. So what we're adding now is our mirepoix. Mirepoix, that is fancy for? Celery, carrots, and onion. Diced tiny. So you're gonna cook it, you're gonna sweat it out a little bit. Uh, want to add a little bit of salt. Want nice me to help flavor. you out? Want me to yeah, do that part? Please. All right. There we go. Go for it. And you are going to then add your lentils. Yes. So now that that's nice and coated, we're going to add the chicken stock. Ooh, nice. And that's going to go for about uh, 30 minutes. You want it to have like nice and al dente, a little texture, but not like super blown out and mushy. Slide it back. Okay. Yes. Awesome. All right, so we're moving on to our roasted chicken now. Again, nice hot pan. Nice hot pan. The chicken seasoned with salt and pepper. We put uh, pepper on the, the back side of the breast so you don't see the pepper flakes. A little pro tip. All right, so now the, the chicken is in the pan. Also gonna let that cook. Now we're gonna take it, move from the pan. That's gonna go right into the oven. All right. So the chicken's done. I did what you told me. I took the oil out of the pan and we're gonna make a yummy pan sauce, right? Yes. How do we do that? So just gonna add a little bit of red wine. So we're gonna let that reduce. Crank butter. this guy up to high. If I'm guessing, uh, there's some butter involved here, if I had to guess. There will be some butter involved. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, so we're gonna add a little chicken stock as well. Okay. And then we're going to let that reduce. All right. Of course, we're going to add a little bit of salt. Of course. Pinch of pepper. Pinch of pepper. And then we're going to push that to the back burner and just let it go until it's like nice reduced uh, syrupy. And that's going to be the sauce. Chef, our sauce reduced and it looks amazing. Calabrian butter to finish the sauce. Chili butter. Start plating while I finish up the sauce here. Absolutely. And the squash puree. That's gonna go right in the middle of the plate. And then you start in the middle and kind of work, work it around. Oh, that's another chef trick. Plating is everything, isn't it, chef? It is what the last thing people see. The lentils on top of that. Lentils on top of the puree. Oh, that's so good. Pat it down so it's a nice base. Hold the chicken steady. Now we're gonna put the chicken on top of that guy. Okay. So the breast is just cut in half. And then we're gonna stack it. Beautiful. And that goes right in the center. The way that we're gonna do this one is like kind of fancy style, where we're gonna pull the outside of the plate. Ah, uh, like a moat. Exactly. Uh, so we have some red endive. So these are some fresh, uh, some fresh red grapes. Grapes. Okay, that's what yeah. I thought I was looking at, but I just gives I it a nice little sure. flavor boost. Okay. And then we have some uh, opal basil leaves. Beautiful purple. And that's it, now you're ready to go. Beautiful, wow. All right, chef, it's time. Moment of truth. 
Mm. Oh, so good. I'm eating the whole thing. <laughs> Thanks for lunch. Thank you. Thanks for joining us, Chef Josh Gripper from the Dutch. We'll see you at the Dutch. Yes. We'll see you at the Chicken Coop at yes. the W Hotel. We'll see you at the Chicken Coop at the W Hotel. Want tickets? Tickets still available for the South Beach Wine and Food Festival. SobeWFF.org. Check it out. But don't go away. When we come back, we are making some kitchen magic with Chef Richard Ingram. He's the guy who cooks for one of Miami's favorite superstars. Plus, I bet you didn't know the festival isn't just about eating and drinking. No, it all goes to a good cause. And we're crossing county lines. We're going to tell you where the best Sobe wine and food Broward Bites are happening this year. Hey, everybody, welcome back. I told you I was going to get some help from some festival friends, and now I've got a little help from my buddy here, Chef Richard Ingram. How are you? Thank you for coming, Chef. Thank you so much for having me. Awesome. I can't wait to see you. You're going to be at the Goya Foods Fun and Fit event at yes. Jungle Island. On Sunday. The event is Saturday and Sunday, but you're going to be there Sunday. I'll be there on Sunday. Tell us about the event. It's family friendly. The family kids love friendly, it. Family friendly, and what we do is we actually bring some of the kids onto the stage, and they're kind of like our little sous chefs as we go along through the process. So it's a great time for everybody. We hope that everybody comes out and enjoys. Awesome. Sounds like fun. Today we're going to make something really tasty. Yes. Well, what it is is actually um, uh, a recipe uh, out of my book, Eating Well to Win, and it's called uh, Twice Baked Seafood Spaghetti Squash. All right. Right. So we know that you cook for Flash, Gabrielle, and the kids. Is this one of the... Uh, uh, Wade family favorites? Well, actually, it's something that I made for Gabrielle at one point uh, because Dwayne doesn't eat a whole lot of seafood. Oh, okay. You know? Yeah. Let's do it. You ready to rock and roll? Ready. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is make our tomato sauce. Okay. So the first thing is to take a little bit of our olive oil. A couple ah, tablespoons. Awesome. That's good enough. All right. Then go ahead and add our onions in. I got it. Now, the next thing is to add in our dry Italian herbs. So now we're going to use our Fire roasted tomatoes, add a little bit of S&P, a little salt and pepper. Oh, you yeah, know I'm going to use that from now S &P. on. A little bit of S&P. That's all right. Continue to stir that around so that the sauce doesn't stick. You want to turn it down so that um, it'll start to simmer. But then the next thing you know, voila, you have your sauce. We got some sauce. And you said this recipe is in your book, Eating Well to Win. It is, Eating Well to Win. Tell me about the book. Easy recipes, healthy recipes. Very easy. And what it is is basically recipes that you're used to but they have another little twist to them to make them just a little bit healthier. I love it, okay. Mm -hmm. And we're using all Goya products today. Exactly. And if it's Goya, it has to be it's good. It's gotta be good. You know how to say it in Spanish? I do not. Si es Goya, tiene que ser bueno. <laughs> tiene que ser que bueno. <laughs> we'll practice, Jeff. <laughs> we gotta work With on the... our squash. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is take our spaghetti squash. Okay. Hold it here, and you go right down the middle. Got to put some muscle into that. You have to. Oh, yeah. And a sharp knife, mm -hmm. essential. And there you are. All right. right. So, so now, now, once you have that, go ahead and get your spoon, and I'll get mine. Got my spoon. And you're just going to go around and take the seeds out. Okay. You don't want to dig too deep, because then you're going to start to take some of that flesh out. And you can already kind of see why they say spaghetti, right? Very stringy. We have our spaghetti squash. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to just hit it with a little olive oil. OK. Just like so. Nice. Add a little bit of our, our, uh, Italian our Italian herbs. Now we'll salt. Little S and P. I told you I was gonna a use it. A little S and P and black pepper. Perfect. Okay. Now the trick to this is when you cook it, you have to turn them upside down. And what happens is the steam goes up within and it captivates all of that heat, and that's what cooks it from the inside nice. out. Nice, right? great tip. So okay. flip it so over. Flip it over. All right, I'll help you out. Just Ooh. like that. Okay. Off to the oven? Off to the oven. Off 400 go. degrees for about uh, 30 minutes. All right, Chef, we got our spaghetti squash. It's out of the oven. Yes. I'm ready. What ready do we to do? Go? What do we do? So what Let's we do is spaghetti. You, so the next thing is, and I'll let you have the big one. You want to go with the grain. Okay. So you want to come down just like this, and look at that. Look how that it just looks comes just out. Like just spaghetti. like spaghetti. Mm. 
good, mm, right? So good. There it is. Love it. All right, so now we're going to make our filling. So the first thing, once again, hit it with add some of our the Goya olive oil, olive oil, the onions, and we're going to take that spoon right out of there. Why not? There you go, because it's all flavor, right? And then I add the garlic right on top of the onions. Certainly. So go ahead and stir that around real all good. Together. Uh huh. And we'll add just a little what to it? S and P. A little S and P, <laughs> right? So what's it like cooking for? Uh, for Dwayne Wade and Gabby, the boys. Now there's a new baby. How's now the new baby? new baby? Beautiful. Yeah. She is beautiful. beautiful. Everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. Awesome. Uh, these past 16 years with Dwayne has been wonderful. It's been a blessing, you know. I'm gonna add some of our sauce in there. All right. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and add in our fresh zucchini. Now we're gonna add our shrimp. Okay. Peeled in the vein. And we're gonna add our lobster tails. Okay. okay? And this doesn't take too long to cook in the sauce, this seafood, No, right? not at all, because the sauce is already hot, mm -hmm. your pan is already hot, and you're not cooking your seafood until it's done. You're yeah. cooking it just till it starts to turn, which is called opaque, because it turns just a little pinkish. Okay. Fresh herbs now, and we'll add them closer to the end of the cooking process because it doesn't take them that long for the uh, flavor to come out. And this is thyme. This is fresh thyme. And... We'll mix, off, it. Yes. we'll mix this right in. Oh. Yeah, look at those colors. Oh, that's gorgeous. Right? So good. now we'll add in some of our cheddar, oh, white wow. cheddar. You use white cheddar, but can I use you whatever I have? You can use smoked Gouda. You can use white cheddar, yellow cheddar. What's in the fridge? Um, whatever you got. Whatever you got. Mm -hmm. And like now it. this is Asiago, one of my most favorite cheeses mm, in delicious. the world. And then we'll come here and we'll start to just turn. Thank you very much. I got you. Uh -huh. And then we'll just fold it all in together. And now, and now we're going in we're here. Going in here. Now we'll take some this of our big. filling. Is this for one person? This is a big portion. And then we'll fill this one in, Beautiful. just like that. Cheese right on top. Okay, and there. That looks we take those and we put them right inside of the oven. Chef, that looks amazing. Mmm. And let's see. Chef, amazing. Mm, that's doing something. It's doing a lot. Yeah, it if is. I can do it, you can do it. He just did it. And don't you go <laughs> away, because when we come back, we're headed north to take you to Broward and talk about the South Beach Wine and Food Festival's Crave Series. Stick around. We're coming right back. I need some more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the spotlight may be on the food and the drinks, but the real stars of this festival are the students. And we're going to take you behind the scenes of the Sobe Wine and Food Festival when we come back. And if you're an Italian food lover like me, oh, you cannot miss Italian Bites on the Beach, hosted by Giada De Laurentiis. Check it out. It's Thursday at 7 o'clock. If you want more info, you can hit me up on social media or you can go to WSBN.com. Welcome back to the special South Beach Wine and Food Festival show. It's not just about South Beach anymore. No, the festival has gotten so popular that they've extended it into Broward. And now there's Crave, Greater Fort Lauderdale series, all sorts of great events. One of them, the Clam Bake. And you are participating. Yes, we are. Chef Roberto Santiago from Shooter's Waterfront is going to be at the Clam Bake at the Conrad Hotel, but today we're making something very special. Tell us yes. about it. Papillot is, uh, means fish wrapping paper. I tried to make that one, Chef, and it was not good. It's going to work out today. So I I'm promise. hoping that uh, you can show me everything that I did wrong. Oh, yes. So let's do this. I noticed the baking tray has some oil on yep. it. Is you that what we want? If we want that. We don't want it to stick there. If some juices come out, we're going to pour some olive oil and uh, white wine in there. Mm -hmm. So if that comes out, they don't, it won't stick or anything. That could have been go. the first mistake I made. I put it, it on there dry. It could be. Okay, yes. so yes. mistake that I made. Got it. Taking notes. So let's uh, so we'll let's start. start with compound butter. Love it. So and garlic, a compound butter is just you butter. Re reduction of uh, white wine, shallots, lemon juice, parsley, garlic. Just butter with some extra flavor, basically. Pretty much. We're right. going to add some citrus. OK, then we're going to add our potatoes. So it's going to be layers of flavor, OK? Nice. Nice already steamed, so it don't take too long to cook. Uh, we add the potatoes. We're going to season those a little bit there before we uh, continue with the piece of fish. OK, right on top. We do the same with the fish, both sides. 
And there's pepper in that salt already. There is already. a mixture of salt and pepper. Yeah, Got this it. is what uh, we use at the restaurant mostly. I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil over that. Got it. Then a little bit of wine as Ooh, well. Nice white wine. Yeah, we, we create some moist inside. After that, we start assembling. This is however you like it. I do a round, I'll go around with okay. some zucchinis that are being grilled. And these are the vegetables that you use, but really any vegetable Any vegetables, is, go even for it. leftover vegetables at home. Whatever you have. Yep, okay, whatever you it. have. Love I'll, it, love I'll it. follow with the asparagus, And the this same is thing. parchment paper. This is parchment paper. Or okay. wax paper will also work. Okay. Or foil, okay. whatever you have available at home. Uh, we're just gonna go with all the veggies around. Got it, got it. Yeah, I'll help you out. Yeah, sure. Help you out. After that, I'm gonna add some of the more, more butter over the, the fish. Okay. We want that to melt and just drip down the potatoes and all that citrus. We'll do oh, some, some, tomatoes. some fresh tomatoes. These are not pre-cooked. They just are uh, gonna give a lot of moist as well to the dish. Slice little baby, yeah. different colors for some color, yeah. right? And then aromatics. Excellent. It's incredible that the South Beach Wine and Food Festival started on the beach 18 and years ago and now it's grown so so big that now it's up, you know, Fort Lauderdale's in on it too. Yep, yep. That's awesome. That's great. You 115 go events now. You want to lemons right on top for I me can. to finish it off. Got it. With all that steam that's going to smell delicious once we open it. Then after that we'll okay. go around here. Not really a big trick of it. You start folding from the first corner. Just fold over the parchment. So here we go yeah. all the way around. I did not do this on my on my fish puppy. And you puppy hold it yet. and fold. Yeah. Hold it and fold. You yeah. want the steam to stay in there. You don't want any any um, holes or any escape the for oil, the steam. The oil on also the helps dish. to yep. very helpful. And then, then a twist we tie at, the it at the end. Got it. And Put tuck it under. under it. Yeah. I'll make sure there's no holes. We did one uh, heavy on the veggies on this one. Perfect. All right, that, and that should be it. That's it, what do we do? We oven? Uh, oven, yep. 350, how many 350 minutes? 350 for about 50 minutes. And don't worry about the paper. Don't worry about the paper, guys. It's not gonna burn, it's gonna get a nice golden brown, but it won't light up on fire, I promise. Just like there you said, go. chef. And now we're gonna plate it, and this Being is- Being very careful, we're gonna slide it. Beautiful, chef. To our nice plate. And then here, all we do, being very careful, break that paper open and get that open there with all those nice Beautiful. flavors. Beautiful. If you want to show off with your guests at your house, yep. Yep. this is the way. Looks now let's good. see if it if it tastes as good as it looks. Okay, chef, the moment of truth. This is it. And get a little tomato, a little piece of fish. Be careful with the steam. Don't want to burn my tongue. Don't burn yourself. Mmm. Super light but so much flavor. Fish and papillot packs a punch. Thank you, Chef Roberto Santiago. You're welcome. From Shooter's Thank Waterfront. You. We'll see you at the Clam Bake. We'll be there. We'll see you at the Clam Bake. Eat, drink, educate. That's the name of the game here. And when we come back, we're gonna show you how the festival promotes that slogan and how the money raised goes to a very good cause. Barbecue fans, this one's for you. It's the Beachside Barbecue hosted by fan favorite Guy Fieri. It's Saturday at 7 o'clock. You don't want to miss this. 30 of the top barbecue masters firing up their grills. And guys, if you want to check out the festival this year and you want an inexpensive and fun event, join me. I'm going to be a judge at the Art of Tiki. Check it out. Want info? I got it. Hit me up on social media at Belkis Naray or head to our website, wsvn.com, or go to the festival website, sobewff.org. Food and drinks are the main attraction at the festival, but the real stars are the students who benefit from the South Beach Wine and Food Fest. 100% of net proceeds benefit the Chaplin School of Hospitality and Tourism Management at Florida International University. It is an exciting time we've been planning for this. We're looking forward to a great festival and all the benefits that it provides to the school. The festival's motto, eat, drink, educate. 
And without FIU's 1,000 students and festival volunteers, that wouldn't be possible. So I hope to work with a lot of the chefs at um, the South Beach Wine and Food Fest and uh, get a lot of connections and network. They're working with exhibitors, they're working with restaurants, they're working with local restaurants. But the best thing that comes out of it, to be honest with you, is that they come out of their shell. It's the idea of festival founder Lee Brian Schrager, who started it all 18 years ago. To date, the festival has raised $28 million for the school. I really enjoy being the festival and be part of the FIU family. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us today. We sure hope you enjoyed our show. Thank you to all the chefs who helped us out. Thank you, FIU. You know, I always say, if I can do it, you can do it. But today, I didn't do anything, and neither do you. It's all waiting for you at the South Beach Wine and Food Festival. I'll be there, and I sure hope you'll be there too. For now, I'm Belkis Nare. Bon appetito. Don't screw it up. <laughs> Ready? Buy with Belkis South Beach Wine and Food Festival, take one. Excellent work. I've never seen anything like it. I want no part of it. I'm gonna let you do all the slicing because right. that looks ninja, <laughs> chef. Delicious. <laughs> We're gonna wrap up the South Beach Wine and Food Festival. For ah! Okay, got it. Bye. Bye with Belkis oh, recipe. Okay. Bye with Belkis recipe one. When do we eat, man? Come on. <laughs>